Good morning, minions, and welcome back to Minecraft. And this is a uh, landmark is the wrong word, but uh, this is a decisive episode um, in the series where I have um, kind of gotten into the groove of things. I've gotten some feedback from you guys, and this is where I'm going to basically. Um, come up with the first kind of official set of how I'm going to do Minecraft and that's how we're going to do things until uh, you know something better comes along or you know there's a high demand for change but the uh, the two main pieces of feedback I got when I asked for what you guys wanted to see on Minecraft were um, just to watch the major projects and to see everything which seems like two completely separate things, but me being awesome and a genius as I am, I've decided that I can do both. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Um, so I am going to only post the important things, and I'm also going to post everything. So how... What, Weezy, that doesn't make any sense. You're crazy. You can't do that. Oh, oh, can't I? Oh, yes, I can. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do and you'll actually probably already have an idea um, as this starts, as I'm just pacing back and forth here, um, is I'm going to post these uh, big, you know, live commentary type videos when I do uh, anything of uh, significance. So like when I build that big house, we're going to commentate all of that and do it all together. Giggity. That's just how I'm going to refer to things. You know, when we do stuff together is when I'll be talking to you. And when I do stuff on my own is going to be uh, projects. So I've kind of decided to break it up into two main things. Um, projects and operations. And projects will be smaller tasks that uh, aren't necessarily of major interest to, uh, to maybe everybody. And uh, operations are going to be major pieces of, uh, of the Minecraft experience that we're going to journey through uh, in a very interactive way. So for instance, I think the way I'm going to do it is a pre-roll. So we, I post an episode, and then so like consider the last episode I posted, which is episode 13. Um, and essentially, whatever I do that's trivial between there and here, um, I will record and kind of put it to some, some fun music and, uh, and speed it up like you did with uh, this chicken coop. So, like I said, I think I'm going to do a pre-roll, so when the episode starts, it'll be like, what you may have missed, and it'll have links to any of these uh, project videos, essentially. So this one's Project Chicken Coop, um, where I uh, decided to build a chicken coop because my farms were getting uh, a little cluttered. So uh, so that's kind of how I'm planning to do things. So um, there are very, like, minuscule, like, tedious things that I will not post those videos of. So, like, when I'm harvesting sugarcane or harvesting wheat or picking up melons a unless I'm you know changing the farm if I make any sort of minor even cosmetic change to the farm I'm gonna start recording that and posting it but if I'm just harvesting stuff or um, we'll go down and look at what I've been doing in the branch mine whenever I do a, you know I've been spending hours down in the branch mine because I can't really do anything uh, not that I can't but I'm, I'm not doing anything major until I you know with this episode I start doing things and I'm gonna start my operations um, and, and so I've been doing stuff that's not as interesting to see, um, and you'll see the branch mining. So if I spend four hours in a branch mine, um, you know, just hitting rocks with a pick, uh, I'm not gonna, po like, record and post that stuff. But if I make any sort of cosmetic change, like, um, we're gonna take another tour of the farm here to get a snapshot of where I'm at, because as you can see I've changed my animal pens a bit, and I'll give you a full tour of where we're at in this episode. And I will announce our first official operation. And after the first operation is complete, I'm essentially going to take feedback from you guys on what should be our next operation. And uh, that's that wall back there. Some of you may have already seen that on Twitter, and we'll get to that here in just a second. But um, yeah, so that's that's kind of the plan. Is you got you know you guys that want to see everything, like see how I construct things, you'll still get to see that. Um, and the good thing about doing it this way is. As many of you know, having a job and a family, when I come home from work, my time uh, playing games is limited to where when I get home, I may have a little bit of time to kind of play some single player stuff um, while my daughter's still awake if she's watching like Dora or something. Um, but I can't really 
do a live commentary during that time because my daughter gets really <laughs> distracted by me just randomly talking to the computer. Um, and if I have to stop and interact, it's just can be interrupted easily. So that's going to be when I do those uncommentated videos because you don't want to hear the random noise going on in my house and if I have to stop randomly. Um, but then after my daughter goes to bed is when I can do stuff like this and do and do commentaries. So, um, so that's the that's our five, you know five minute breakdown of of how we're going forward. So let's uh, let's go through a, a tour of the farm and just kind of get a, a state of the union, uh, as it were, of of the farm. So here's the well um, with our infinite spring, which is always handy, which I have uh, moved out slightly from close to where it was to the uh, obsidian farm. Uh, this is my obsidian farming utility. I moved the tree farm from back there to off to the side here. And the reason for that, you'll see, is because of the expansions I've done to the animal pens. Um, and this is actually a little bit smaller tree farm than it was before, but uh, it still performs the need. So here's all my saplings and my axe, which I've decided not to continue carrying around all the time, just because it's unnecessary. I will not get, honey. Ooh, hello, tree. I will not get. <laughs> She's watching TV with her headphones on, and she flipped me off because she's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's where the tree farm is now. I, I haven't decided what to do with that back place. I'm, we're gonna start a mushroom farm at some point. Um, if we're gonna do it with actual like little mushrooms, then we'll need a dark area. So I may either cover that or dig it down or something, or I may just use bone meal and do a giant mushroom farm. Um, here's what I did with the animal pins. As you guys saw before, I had four pins that expanded to here essentially and they were broken about in well no there was yeah that's right there are four pins and they actually went to yeah I think they went to about here yeah yeah that's right um so what I but it was sheep chicken an empty pin where pigs were going to be and then cows but the way I was breeding them they were filling up the space and when I had to get in and out of fences it was getting troublesome and especially those damn chickens would always wait right next to the gate so that whenever I go in one or two of them would always get out and it's just a pain in the ass so so what I did is I merged the four pens into two large pens in which I kept the sheep and the cows and I built a third pen where I'm gonna put pigs which is gonna be one of our our operations operation I haven't named it yet piggy fetch or something like that um, so pigs will go in there and then I built a specially designed chicken coop and that's the first project video you guys saw um, to keep these guys in so I basically the goal of this was to build them in a way that they couldn't easily get out, but I could easily get in and out. So I figured, hey, they're chickens, let's build a chicken coop. And I just kind of came up with this design. You'll see a couple of uh, hesitations when I do that video where I was essentially coming up with the design as I was building it. That's why I like built part of the roof and then chopped it down. So, um, you know, I can hop in here and they can't use the ladder to get out and it's too high so they can't hop out there. And I uh, use bars so I can see in here and, you know, I think, uh, I think it worked out and uh, I really like it. Come on, yeah, there's another chicken. Um, so that's that's the chicken coop. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. It's very simple, but I'm really happy. It was worth, it was worth all the iron I spent on those bars. Um, the farm is, is identical to where you guys saw it last, where I've still got all the stuff I've harvested here. Sugar cane, wheat, hasn't changed. Melons, um, still there. Uh, has, did see the suggestion for uh, creating the automatic... Uh, farms that you know the automatic melon harvesters and there's actually ways to do automatic harvesting on all of this stuff which is one of our uh, long long-term uh, operations we'll be undertaking and uh, but I think that this farm is gonna stay essentially how it is and you know there may be some more minor expansion to this farm but essentially this is gonna this is almost kinda to a state where it's complete you know animals vegetation trees when I get mushrooms in I'll pretty much be set on everything I need to grow and harvest and that's you know when it'll be a good time to start well not necessarily you know that then when we move to the big house and then dig probably some laboratories or working areas underneath the mountain is uh, when we'll make smaller version of these farms that'll be automatic harvesting and and that'll be fun wow ten minutes out it's already nighttime I've been just yapping and yapping so that's uh, that's the farm that's all you guys need to know about the farm so far this hasn't changed. My house is still the same. Um, Hugly Puffs is still here. We are going to go on some missions with Hugly Puffs um, for some exploration. And this is all still about the same. Um, you guys will see, I've, you know, from my branch mines, I've gotten some more coal. Do I have anything smelting? Um, I picked up not a whole lot more iron because I did use some of it, but I got a lot of iron here. 
quite a bit more gold that I found and uh, I'll show you hopefully my slime farm is well, not slime farm but that area I told you I was digging out for some slimes it actually started producing um, actually I took a video of that too that I may post before this um, but yeah it started producing so I got some slime balls so we can make some sticky pistons and magma cream when the time comes and uh, you know that's that's the major stuff oh yeah in the branch mines man you come across just tons of redstone so I got tons of that I uh, haven't you know I haven't done anything important I haven't re-enchanted anything I haven't um, grabbed any more diamond or anything like that oh I'm too close to the fence here at night time um, so that's the house uh, oh yeah I was gonna show you guys so here's the uh, the early draft of uh, I call them Weezy's missions but then it's gonna be the current mission and they'll go I, I may change that wording to operations matter of fact let's do that right now Weezy's operations although it kinda sex like sounds like a sex change uh, hernia yeah, uh, but those aren't really what I'm going for I just like the name of operations because then when I name them it's like operation bloggity blog um, and so essentially this is basically my, the idea I had originally was a to-do list so I don't forget things we need to do um, so I built this and when you get to the new house we're, I'm essentially gonna build like a big war room I wanna get some like green wool and build like a big chalkboard almost to put these on and uh, essentially have all these to-do list things to do the first of which is actually going to be this one uh, we're gonna make that zombie dungeon grinder and uh, as part of us being able to farm XP so we can do more enchanting and such. Um, so whenever we decide to do something, we'll grab that and place it over here and it'll be our current operation and that'll be what we're doing. Put some extra signs in there. So uh, that's the idea here. So, you know, you can kind of get an idea of the things we're doing. Uh, and this is an adjustable enchanting room, which I'll do a bonus video of the one I did in creative mode. Um, map exploration, where essentially we're going to take this map and we're going to fill it out to all the edges. Uh, we're in a lot of water, so that may be just a lot of sailing, but... Uh, that's going to be, you know, a whole operation. Clifftop Mansion, obviously that mansion we're building. The auto farms, like I was mentioning. Going to the end, that's not the, you know, that's not going to be the end of the series by any means, but that's, you know, going to be an ultimate goal to go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon. Uh, brewing is going to involve going to the Nether to get blaze rods to make a brewing stand and do brewing for potions. Uh, track to Old Home will be when we journey back to my original spawn point and base and um, the longer term operation will be to build a big mine cart track road between here and there, um, which is going to be long. It's going to be like 2,000 kilometers, 2,000 meters or blocks, what they call it, but two kilometers. Um, nether house will be when we go to the nether and build a house there. Uh, pig farm is when we're just going to fill out that pig farm, which will just involve me essentially wandering potentially over one hill and finding pigs. Anyway, not all these operations have to be huge. Dungeon Grinder, that's what we're going to do next. Mob Records is when you, we're going to get records for our uh, jukebox by going out and having uh, skeletons shoot creepers. That should be fun. Cannons, ooh, that's going to be a fun one. Uh, mob Spawner will be a, just a generalized mob spawner. This is based around using a, um, a mob spawner, like the monster spawner that's in a dungeon, and building a grinder around that. A mob spawner is essentially just a large, dark underground area where all of the different mobs will spawn, and then you can harvest them for uh, their resources and experience. Mushroom farm, uh, underwater house, which I think will be cool, like when we came popping out of the water there. I think we should just uh, go and build an underwater house. I think that'll be a fun project and uh, can play with airlocks and stuff like that. A colored sheep farm, and you know, don't please don't get offended by that. It's you know, it's. Uh, uh, <coughs> but uh, what we're gonna basically do is is trim off a couple of those sheep. Um, into their own pens, right? And you can actually, like there's dyes, so you can dye wool, um, but you can also dye the sheep directly, and then the wool that they produce will be that color. So we can create a colored sheep farm, which will give us a better supply of different colored wool. And snow biome is when we'll go exploring and try and find a snow biome, so we can collect snowballs and build some totems and such. Um, there will be more stuff that can come up. I'll take suggestions from you guys, and just as I think of stuff, I'll put it on here. And like I said, this is going to be the first operation we embark on, just because I think it's going to be fundamental for us to be able to farm XP that way so that we can get enchanted stuff. Shut up. Oh, my God. Get away from my perimeter. Um, I'd go out there and hit him, but then I'm afraid a creep would come and blow my fence up. So, uh, yeah, those are going to be, uh, that's essentially the kind of to-do list that will become our different operations. 
Um, and like I said, after we do the first one, uh, I'll take uh, suggestions from you guys on what you want to what you want to do next. Um, I've, as you can see from my farm has been producing. Look at all those melons. I love me some melons. And uh, let's go take a quick look down in the mine. Come on now, there we go. And I'll s maybe I I've been. The way that I dug this mine, it travels such a long distance. By standing at my house, I'm not within close enough range to uh, to where slimes will spawn and stay, uh, essentially. So I kind of have to be down here. So like when I'm branch mining, they'll they'll spawn uh, because I'm nearby. But uh, otherwise, I'd have to basically find an area around here to just sit and wait for them to spawn, which can t take some time. And that's kind of what par farming is about. But but I've been doing a lot of branch mining in this area, and I've almost branch mined it out, so you'll see. Um, yeah, you can see I've kind of hollowed out this big old area. Every time I see a slime down here, essentially, I hollow out the area where they are to try and increase the chances of them spawning in that area. And uh, I've been just branch mining the crap out of this area. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the, uh, the branch mining I've done. Um, just so you can see, like, it's probably been... Between all the branch mines I've done, I've probably eight hours I've spent down here mining, which you think, why? how is someone motivated to just dig through the walls for eight hours? But you know, Especially when I've got not a lot of other major things I can do, which now I'm going to be able to spin back up since I'm back to this point here where they were doing this episode. Um, you know, spin back up these bigger episodes. But uh, yeah, essentially it was just like, let's get some resources. So look at this. We found some diamonds here. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. And, yeah, so I've just, you know, like I showed you guys with those branch mines, I've been doing that, you know, branch mining down, and then, you know, in between every third block, I've been mining down, and, uh, you know, you'll see all these mines that I've created, you know, and how, you know, relatively few diamonds i found, i found a bunch of diamonds, but relatively speaking, there's some more down there we're gonna get, relatively speaking for the time I've spent, you know, you don't find a ton, ton of diamonds. I mean, it's not like redstone, which is just everywhere. Um, I did notice a slime spawned in here once, so I just made a note of that. There's, and uh, I think... Is there another... I, didn't, I stopped mining here. And I think the reason I stopped mining is because I ran into... I right, hear you, zombie. Yeah, there's diamond here. A big hole block. Look at that, an eight block of diamond. And, uh, yeah, I ran into this area here, so you see these kind of areas that I mark off like this are ways of me saying I haven't explored this area, and I'm not going to because I didn't want to get in the situation again where I go off on an adventure and forget to record, or, you know, and don't record it. So I block those areas off. We can explore them at a future time um, if we want. And also I made a note over here somewhere of a... There. There's an abandoned mine shaft that I tunneled into over there, which is actually really low in the map, so we may find some good stuff in there, like diamonds. We'll, we'll explore there at some point. Um, but yeah, this is one of the branch mines I've created down here. Look at how... Look at look at all that. Look at, look at all this I did. And yeah, that was... For all of that area I mined, you know, we came up with, what, maybe, uh, looks like 15 diamonds, which is nothing to scoff at, but... Uh, you know, by no means a massive <laughs> amount for all the mining I did over there. Um, this may be the most boring part of this video for this, but uh, here, I think this may be the, no, this is a, a decent set. Um, oh, excuse me, burpees. Uh, more diamonds in this mine here. I want to stick to this way, because this is where I have my signs that let me know where my diamonds are. Um, but yeah, I dug all this out too. More this this is I think the the sad one. Look at that! I found one sad little diamond all by itself. Oh, poor guy. Uh, and again, I didn't harvest these guys because I want you guys to be around. And we do have that fortune one pick. But if we built that spawn harvester uh, or that mob harvester, we can uh, essentially get a lot more um, points for enchanting. And we have a chance to enchant a pick that could get a higher level fortune, and there are high-level fortune enchantments can get you, you know, three or four diamonds from a single block, so I haven't decided if I want to harvest those just yet, because um, I don't necessarily need them right now, but, and we can always find more, but, you know, eh, what, what do you guys think? Um, that must not be it. Some of these cutout areas are just places where I found other minerals. Yeah, here we go. So there's another set I found. This isn't as much, what is this, a four, four block? 
Ah, my legs, and I'm in a different mind now. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see how these honeycombed in here. And I've almost, like, I've pretty much on all the edges hit mine shafts or dungeons or something. So, uh, I, I'm almost done pretty much. Oh, damn it, did I get turned around? Uh, mining this area. I think I may pick a new area to build a new branch mine. And I may do, like, one mining session to record and post just so you guys can see kind of what it what it's about but yeah you guys even sped up you guys don't want to see you know five hours of me digging tunnels so um like i said any cosmetic changes i do to my to my world will always be now recorded and posted um come on oh my god how big is this mine? am i oh and that's into another god damn it and turn around in my giant mine oh let me out of here oh wait Wait, see how I was in here? Aha! Aha! See what I mean? Look at that. Spawning the slimes. Yes. Yeah. I may post that video as a little addendum then, rather than its own standalone, since you guys have seen in real time now uh, how the spawn harvester works. So, medium sized spawn oh, goes to these little ones. These little guys are the ones that drop the slime balls. Um, the little ones can't hurt you, but these big guys can give you a, a bump. They're, but they're not really dangerous, that's why I just kind of walk around and toy with them. These guys can also give you a little bit of a nudge. Um, but they're, again, they're not all that dangerous. And these little guys, all they can do is push you. Isn't that right, little guys? You can just push me. Oh, yeah, I know you love me. I know you love... I'm not walking right now, by the way. This is them shoving me around. Oh, yes, you little guys. Yes. Let me eat some food so that I can heal up. Um, now let's oh, uh, look out. No, line it up. Oh, get here so I don't punch torches. Let's go. Oh, punch, 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 punch. There's actually enchantments you can get on a sword that'll drop the amount of loot that spawns will uh, give you, which will be good for us harvesting a lot of uh, slimes or ender pearls when the time comes to try and get to the end. Um, so that'll be a good thing to have. So again, that's all. Getting resources will be much easier as we get more enchantments. And plus, with the diamond I found, you know, I can make more diamond pickaxes, which means I can enchant those to have, like, the, uh, um, you know, the toughness, the, essentially the enchantments that make them mine faster and not break as fast, um, which will make, you know, everything easier. You know, I can get a set of diamond tools going. But, uh, but yeah, that's my, uh, my big branch mine and slime spawner. Yay! So, uh, yeah, I, I think actually that's essentially the farm right now. So we're 20 minutes in here. Um, so, uh, the next thing... Get out of my way. Oh, yeah, by the way, I, I still have the button, I think, on the inside here. Just... Oh, no, I did take it down. But I, you know, since I now have a perimeter, I went ahead and put a pressure plate out here, because, you know, mobs inside can't get out, and mobs out here can't get in. That dog has been swimming in that ocean since, like, episode two, since we got here. One of these days I'm going to go tame him. <laughs> Fucking dog. Uh, so yeah, let's, you know, let's, let me give you one quick bird's eye view of here. And, uh, do, 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 do. And essentially that is my current domain. So, um, this may be, you know, a single part episode. And, and if it's, uh, you know, if you guys don't have any major objections, what I'm essentially do from now on is, is I'm going to try and cap it, like, because normally I'll record for about 20, 40 minutes. And uh, and I have been cutting them basically in half. So if it's about a 40, 45 minute video, pretty much cut it in half and post it in two parts, um, which gets those kind of weird random stops and disconnects that you guys see. So what I'm kind of going to be shooting for is, you know, on operations and, pro and well, mainly operations, because projects will go a, little, a lot quicker. Uh, on operations, uh, I'm going to record for anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, and those will go up in their entirety. So if I do a 40, 45 minute episode, it'll go up as one piece. And uh, and then typically, because now I've got a little, uh, you guys can't see it, but I've got a little timer widget on my desktop now so I can see when it's about 40 minutes. I know that's kind of my upper max of essentially what you can stand, because you guys aren't going to be, 40 minutes even is pushing it. Um, I, I just speak personally for me. 40 minutes is, you know, when I watch a Minecraft video, I can watch a 30, 40 minute Minecraft video if I've got some time for it. When it gets upwards of an hour, I can still watch it, but man, it gets tougher to, to watch things that are an hour, an hour more longer. So... 20 minutes is easy, um, well, 10 minutes is easy, 20 minutes is, is common, 
Uh, 40 minutes is doable, especially if you're interested. And you can watch it in multiple pieces, obviously. You can come back to it. Uh, but I, I think an hour is pushing it. So that's a lot of rambling, just wasting time here. <laughs> Saying, you know, you guys don't want to spend a lot of time watching stuff, but listen to me talk for five minutes. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's going to be the, the goal for the length of these videos. Between 20 and 40 minutes, they'll go up all in a single piece. And if we're in the middle of a giant operation... Um, then I will make some sort of verbal break so it's not just a sudden cut. It'll be like, well, it's been 40 minutes or so, so I guess I'll stop here, and then when we pick up, we'll do blah, 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 blah. And uh, that'll make it a more smooth transition. Um, it's not a big deal for me right now, but eventually I'm going to install one of the weekly updates that's going to allow sheep to regrow their wool by eating grass, um, just because I don't like... When it comes to getting wool, I would rather just be able to shear them and let them regrow it than have to go in and kill them and breed them and shear them it, it it uses up a lot of my wheat stores that I don't necessarily want to use because I want to make bread or breed my cows for meat um, but eh, anyway we, we got stuff to do as you saw on the wall we've got stuff to do so uh, yeah I guess I'll stop it here and the next episode you guys will see will be the beginning of our first operation oh and by the way in case you guys are wondering I don't know if you noticed that but what I did was and for what I used it as, it wasn't really cheating. You know how I've got that entranceway that leads down to our first dungeon that we found, remember? And then I came out into the water and broke. So so that stairway goes down there and then down there. So what I did is I went down into the dungeon, hit F3, and got the X and Z coordinates, because the Y coordinates is what changed, of where the dungeon is. And then I came back up, and I walked out to where the same X and Z coordinate were for the dungeon, but obviously the Y coordinate was much higher. So right there is directly above the dungeon. And I don't think, because we're up at like, you know, 70, and the dungeon's down at like 12 or 15, so our our spawn gr our dungeon grinder isn't going to reach out of the ground, but just in case I wanted to mark it off, and, and maybe that'll make it easier for us to make a more direct path to it, like a maybe like a spiral staircase so that we don't have to go all the way over there and then down and down to get to it. But um, that's what that is. That's actually where that first dungeon we found is, and that's what we're going to turn into the mob grinder. And uh, that will be our first operation. So I've repeated myself a dozen times. I will go ahead and stop for realsies this time. And I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.